Good morning. Welcome to the Cathedral Church of All Saints. My name is Heather McCacker and I am a deacon here. It is June 24th. Thank you for coming to pray with me. Today we commemorate the holy day of the birth of St. John the Baptist. The birth of St. John the Baptist is told in the Gospel according to Luke, where it serves as a bridge between the Old Testament and the time of Christ. The initial focus of Luke's account is Zechariah the priest and his wife Elizabeth, and the evangelist draws on phrases and motives from the Old Testament in order to associate them with Abraham and Sarah. Like those ancient figures, the parents of John the Baptist were righteous but childless. Moreover, Elizabeth herself, like Sarah, was well past menopause, so that according to nature, she was no longer able to conceive a child. But just as God intervened to make Abraham and Sarah have a child and become the forebearers of the chosen people, so an angel announced to righteous Zechariah and to his wife were to have a son who would be the forerunner of the chosen one, the Christ. So it came to pass that Elizabeth conceived and gave birth to a son whom she named John. Then his father Zechariah prophesied, saying, You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. Zechariah also saw that his son's mission would prepare the way for the fulfillment of God's oath, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Thus, according to Luke, the birth of John the Baptist gathered up and embodied the whole truth of the Old Testament and made it ready for its own perfection in Christ Jesus, the one whose way John was born to prepare. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. O Holy One, be gracious to us and bless us. Let your face shine upon us so that your way may be known in the world, your saving help among all nations. Let the people praise you, O God. Indeed, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge with truth and justice and guide the nations of the world. Let the peoples praise you, Holy One. Indeed, let all peoples praise you. May the earth yield its harvest. May the Holy One, our God, bless us. May God bless us. And all the ends of the earth revere the Holy One. Reading from Psalm number 85. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Let us hear what God, the Lord, will speak, for he will speak peace to his peoples, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land, Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground, and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its increase. 
Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah, beginning at the 40th chapter. God's people are comforted. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up. Every mountain and hill may be made low. And uneven ground shall become level. And the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their consistency is like the flower of the field. The grass withers. The flower fades. Then the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers. The flower fades. But the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain. A Zion. Herod of all good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength. O Jerusalem. Herald of good tidings, lift it up. Do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. The word of the Lord. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name for you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. You are precious in my sight, and I love you. Do not fear, for I am with you. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. reading from the book of Acts. And on the Sabbath day, they went into the synagogue and sat down. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the officials of the synagogue sent them a message saying, Brothers, if you have any word of exhortation for the people, give it. So Paul stood up and with a gesture began to speak. You Israelites and others who fear God, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt. And with uplifted arm, he led them out of it. For about 40 years, he put up with them in the wilderness. After he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance for about 450 years. After that, he gave them judges until the time of the prophet Samuel. Then they asked for a king, and God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, who reigned for 40 years. When he had removed him, he made David their king. In his testimony about him, he said, I have found David, son of Jesse, to be a man after my heart, who will carry out all my wishes. Of this man's posterity, God has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus, 
as he promised before his coming. John had already proclaimed a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his work, he said, What do you suppose I am? I am not he. No, but one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals on his feet. My brothers, you descendants of Abraham's family and others who fear God to us, to us the message of his salvation has been sent. The word of the Lord. The Song of the Covenant. Thus said God who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it, and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord, and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives of the dungeons. From the prison, those who sit in the darkness, I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory I give to no other. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Creator of the heavens, Lead all peoples into a common life of justice, faith, and peace. Inspire the Queen, the Governor General, the Prime Minister, and all in authority to serve the people of this country according to your holy will. Giver of breath, hear our prayer. Guide the growth and development of the children and the young people. Deliver and keep the sick in your love. Support and keep steadfast all who, for the sake of justice and truth, have been condemned to exile, prison, harsh treatment, or hard labor. Giver of breath, hear our prayer. Direct our lives in the same spirit of service and sacrifice as shown by the prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and all who have borne witness to the gospel. Giver of breath, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you call John the Baptist to give witness to the coming of your son and to prepare his way. Give your people the wisdom to see your purpose and the openness to hear your will, that we, too, may witness to Christ's coming and so prepare his way. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. creator of the universe, the light of your glory shines in the darkness of our lives. Make us tentative to your presence, prompt to serve you, and ever eager to follow in the steps of the one who is our true light, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen.